Okay, good morning, sweet peas. It's 7.30 in La Jolla, California. And my name is Leslie Williams. Now, check it out. Uh, this is just a checking in video. It's going to be a very short video. Uh, I want to inform my Periscope viewers that as long as, as a result of my phone being hacked, hold on, as a result of my phone being hacked, I've noticed about on, I've noticed on four occasions that whenever I make a Periscope video, uh, see, at all times when I make a Periscope video, the video itself is supposed to be saved in my gallery application as a video. About four times that hasn't happened. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is not only to bring it up to let you know that that's occurring as well, but also to inform my viewers and to keep a log pertaining to details, the fact that I have started a video series for lawyers. Each Periscope video that I make for this video series will then be uploaded to YouTube in the Higgins Williams account from the gallery after the Periscope video is made. Now, I'm also noticing that some of my Periscope broadcasts are not being broadcast as well. So if you run across any of those videos, still stay with this account. Research what's already in the, uh, 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 in the profile in reference to prior videos and stay tuned as well to current and future videos. So this is just, uh, this is just this account was created for at least three reasons. One, to inform the public about these criminal realities of organized stalking, okay, which can also be called gang stalking. It's not stalking by gang, okay. Also, to keep a vlog concerning past events that have happened, current events that may transpire, and future events that may transpire, uh, <laughs> that may transpire, and to make predictions about what might transpire, okay. And this account is also being used for uh, to make videos for lawyers, for law firms. And I've discussed that already uh, in the video that I made yesterday, which was video one of a, uh, of, a, of a series of videos that I'm making for lawyers. Hold on. So fellow American citizens, on any date when I go to make a video, especially for pertaining to the series of videos for lawyers, if it doesn't get broadcasted on Periscope, and then and then as well, if I turn around and find that the, the video itself did not get saved in my gallery, it's because my phone is hacked. One of the main one of the one of the one of the huge methods that has repetitively been used against massive amounts of gang stalking victims is to force the victim to have to relive their experiences. How do you do that? Well, let's say if you're creating a blog and you're writing down what's happening to you or what has. They'll go into your blog and take it out or screw around with the spelling or rearrange words. So, And then when you notice it, you'll have to retype it, causing you to reprocess it. Is this, is this being done for brain entrainment? Now, they'll do the same thing with videos. You'll make a video. They can see what you're doing through the cyber surveillance technique of gang stalking. And then what they'll do is hack into your account, hack into your application, and cause it to malfunction. Or, or and or to not broadcast. This is done to, for two reasons, to make you redo it for the aforementioned reasons and to discourage you from redoing it as well, especially if it's a video that, that they don't want broadcasted. See, because they know they're dealing with a targeted individual whose schedule has been completely affected by these little psycho maggots. And so they feel that, well, she's making a video, this one we would prefer not to have online so well, let's sabotage it, and since we know that her schedule is extremely congested because of this campaign, the current campaign that is ongoing every day, that there's a great likelihood that she'll forget to remake it or that she'll be distracted from remaking it. Now these are the covert methods of gang stalking. You can go to Google and, and, and type in gang stalking and email account uh, infiltration, um, how they'll hack into your blogs, your phone, your computer, okay? how they'll compromise, edit, or delete evidence or anything that you might be preparing to present to lawyers. Absolutely, absolutely. Hold on. So what I do is make videos about what may, might happen or will happen. Also notice on some of my previous Periscope videos, you'll notice some extremely negative comments, okay, including sexual comments that have been made on my Periscope videos. So, all right, fellow American citizens, my name is Leslie Williams. I made this video in order to, and, and it's really weird because I had it figured out how to hide the chat function so I could prohibit uh, 
so I could prohibit um, people from making comments on my Periscope videos. And then the last time when I went to go make one, I couldn't bring that feature up. So what's going on there? All right, so check it out. Uh, uh, today's date is July 10, 2017. My name is Russell Wynans. I'm in La Jolla, California. We're experiencing a heat wave here in La Jolla. And so it's, it's, it's literally draining everybody physically. And since I don't have a car, I'm stuck to using my bike. And I am also, uh, they also made me homeless. And so living in and dealing with the massive amount of heat that we're dealing with and then walking into businesses and libraries and buses that are freezing with air conditioner, my sinuses are, are just totally out of whack. Uh, I've been experiencing massive migraines in the past week. Uh, I'm finally just now getting over one. It's still slightly there. I've had it for the past four days. So at any time, I'm not implying this or suggesting this, but I am bringing this to your attention. I strongly suggest you go to Google and type in, and YouTube, and type in directed energy weapons and artificial headaches and gang stalking. Do it. You know, that's even mentioned in their own manifesto that they put on the internet, which you can go to in, to, in order to read it, which is titled, A Gang Stalking Text, Everything You Need to Know. It's a documentation file that a manager of gang stalking crews wrote offline and then went to an internet cafe and published it to the internet. Their own manifesto states that they got the ability to induce artificial headaches. And we all know that when we're dealing with a migraine, some can be so bad that you don't even feel like literally moving. Okay, and you would not believe what else I am enduring. You just, I, I mean, you would not believe also what I'm enduring. You just would not believe it on a daily basis, on a daily basis. Okay, so also make sure that when you go into this account, and if you see any URL links attached to the title of any Periscope video, copy down the characters, and then type them in at your URL address bar to bring the information up. Follow the instructions that I give within the Periscope video pertaining to those URL links, and you will see truth. Okay, fellow American citizens, my name is Leslie Williams. I'm in San Diego, California. Let's see if I am banned from any place I go today, Bonds Grocery Store. The library, tra any transportation service. So they, see, through cyber surveillance, I'm looking up lawyers. Uh, through cyber surveillance, they can tell if a target is looking up lawyers. I'm looking up lawyers. They know I got massive evidence. Like, let's say, if I got evidence concerning libraries or concerning bonds or concerning MTS public transportation. So then, will they stage an event in order to, with what, including with witnesses? Staged events and gang stalking is called street staters. You can Google that term. So if they can see that you're preparing to go to a lawyer, and they know that you got massive, indisputable audio and video evidence of them participating in these criminal realities, then what they're going to want to do is stage an event, including with witnesses. That's all over the internet that they do this. Street staters. And then what they'll do as a result of the event is they'll 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 file falsified documentation about the target. This is done so when the target sues them. They can say, well, we had to ban Ms. Williams because her behavior was inappropriate. Absolutely. US, UCSD did that. So did USD. You would not believe the audacity of these wild, absolutely crumbly, insane animals. All right, so my name is Leslie Williams. I'm being gang stalked at two Starbucks, McDonald's, Wall, uh, Wells Fargo. I'm being gang stalked at... Um, uh, the North University San Diego Public Library. I'm being gang stalked at Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf on Governor Road and Genesee Avenue. I am absolutely being gang stalked on MTS transportation services. Now, most of the thing that they do towards me is prop people up to get around me to repeat certain words and phrases like gang stalk and oh my god and gang stalk and suck my dick. Excuse my language, please. I'm just describing what they do. But ever since I've been started uh, to uh, broadcast Periscope videos, which enables you to broadcast things live, okay, they went back to repeating physical gestures. Now, what I just described to you are, are aspects of the sensitization techniques connected to gang stalking crimes. So you can thoroughly and extensively research what sensitization methods are connected to gang stalking crimes, and I mean thoroughly research it. Okay, so you can see how they will sensitize the target to a specific behavior and then just prop up different duke idiots along your route to have them repeat it around you. Well, they know I wear a tape recorder. Absolutely, absolutely. So they have, they have, they have 
on a scale of one to ten, they were repeating the words and phrases around me every day at 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 the number eleven and twelve. Ever since I started broadcasting Periscope videos, they went from a twelve to like a two or three. And but they went back to using the physical gestures. And if you don't believe they're not propping that up around me, you can go to YouTube and type in "learning disabled woman catches gang stalker admitting sent to harass read comments." That's the, that's the YouTube title. I've also caught four other individuals openly admit caught on tape stating that they were put in my physical presence to do that as well. Three of them were UCSD students and another one admitted that a San Diego police officer by the name of Steve put him on the corner to do it. Okay, you can probably find that video by typing in 11 2013 learning disabled woman catches another gang stalker admitting sent to harass read comments. Okay, he doesn't openly admit that he was put on a corner to engage in physical gestures, but he does openly admit that he was put on a corner by his SDPD officer named Steve. And the reason why I said you guys are all the same is because as soon as I got to the corner, he was engaging in these physical gestures. And then I caught three other people, three UCSD students admitted to my face. Two of them admitted it on October 7, 2013 at the bus stop at uh, Gilman and Myers right on UCSD campus. And the other one admitted it two days later on the 10th, three days later on the 10th, at the bus stop off of La Jolla Village Square Drive, which is right across the street from Ralph's and CBF, which is in La Jolla. Okay. So altogether, I've actually caught about six or seven people admitting they were put in my physical presence to engage in these organized stalking, gang stalking, physical gestures, which are directly connected to the desensitization methods. Now, this is their in intentional way to creatively, overtly, directly let you know and remind you that you're being gang stalked as a result of what you're constantly subject to for you to see and or hear. So I strongly suggest that you extensively research sensitization methods in gang stalking because they will mentally provoke you by constantly repeating different things around you, okay, <clears throat> and then use one of them to get in your face and you know that you're intentionally being bothered, including by them walking up to you and asking, acting nice and asking, asking you questions or crowding your space, okay. This is done to provoke you to see if you'll act out, but it's at least done to mentally harass you and to mentally let you know that this is because of gang stalking. So it, it, it's basically nothing but psychological battering, psychological violence, psychological harassment, okay? And, it's, and, and in one form or another, it's constantly repeated around the target every day. And a lot of what they do will blend in with the everyday environment. Like this, in closing, let me just give you an example. Research how to sensitize a victim to everyday things that everyday people do, like sneezing, coughing, clearing your throat. Okay, absolutely. They'll stage an event and then they'll bait the target to say, well, what's going on here? Well, I know this was, the event was because of gang stalking. Well, why do you think it was because of gang stalking? Because of a specific thing that they did. And then the cop will say, well, what do you think? This person's stalking you just because they did this or that? And then the cop, the cop will play his role and file a falsified police report about the target, claiming the target's crazy. Okay, do you understand how it works? So I strongly suggest you research these common realities. I gotta get to San Diego, California. Let's see if I am <coughs> assaulted, robbed, or forced off any property, and let's see if I come back to any property uh, and there's homeless people uh, congregating on it or any type of public workers doing work on it or around it. San Diego, California, because that's how they, they made me homeless. So they'll track you to wooded areas, wait till you leave, and then prop these, and then prop these people up, and this is done so you'll see them, and so then you'll think to yourself, "Well, I got to go somewhere else," and that's exactly what they're doing: is mentally baiting you to go to somewhere else, a place that's more secluded and isolated, so you can be extremely victimized. You understand? Because the places I'm choosing now are open enough to where. I can run out and get immediate attention from innocent bystanders, not staged witnesses. Okay, I, I gotta go, San Diego, California. So those statements apply for the next 90 days. Let's see if I'm arrested, ticketed for legal lodging, trespassing, and encroachment, and or forced off any property through psychological intimidation or being directed off the property through and by anybody. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams, and when I say property, I mean any property, any wooded area. All right, I, and, th and that those statements apply for the next 90 days. That also includes assaults and robberies and bank account infiltration. All right, I literally got to go. Thank you for listening, everybody, and have a good day, okay? Stay safe.